Good, good morning. It's Wednesday, May 5th, 2021. Um, my name is Vince. As stated in that first video, this channel's future will be about full-time RVing, uh, a diesel pusher, towing a Jeep. In the first video, um, I talked a lot about that whole process, but in this video, I want to touch on three items that um, took quite a bit of research and I'm sure if you're interested in this type of stuff, you'll do your own research. But those main three items include um, your domicile, mail forwarding, and two items related to expenses and cost. Um, one of them is TSD Logistics. I'll touch on that in a minute. And the other is Good Sam for RV loans. So the first one is your domicile. It appears from my research that the three main states that people choose to pick a domicile are Florida, Texas, and South Dakota. Uh, the, you know, obviously if you sell a home, move out of your apartment, or sell a condo in the eyes of government, you're technically homeless. You need to have a legal mailing address. It's going to be important for insur health insurance, you know, car registration, and all that. So with that being said, um, from my research, Escapees, it's a membership um, organization that is devoted to RVers, not just full-time RVers, but RVers, period. They offer discounts at campgrounds. Um, I believe they may even offer some roadside assistance. You'll have to do your research on that. But Escapees offers you a legitimate address for a small fee along with mail forwarding services. Um, I believe it's about $25 or so. Don't quote me on that, these things change. They have um, offices in Texas and Florida and like I said, South Dakota. So you need to get a legitimate mailing address to claim as your domicile so that in the eyes of government you have a legal mailing address. Um, I'll give you that website, it is um, www.escapees.com that's e-s-c-a-p-e-e-s.com sorry i had to look at a couple notes I'm, i don't have all this stuff memorized um, take a look at their website it's pretty comprehensive and you'll get a good idea of how that mail forwarding works um, again real quickly back to south dakota which is probably where i'm going to claim my domicile and the main reason is south dakota of all of our states has made it very easy to become a resident you basically have to spend one night in that state either in a hotel or a campground you get the receipt you show up the next day at a place like escapees you get an address they'll you know, give you an address along with your, your package for mail forwarding, etc. And you then go, in some cases I've heard it's actually next door to the DMV, takes a, an hour or two, and you present your address um, to the DMV, you surrender your old driver's license from the state you left, and they will simply issue you a new driver's license. And with that mail forwarding address and your new driver's license, you now have established your new domicile. And it is legal. And like I said, you only need to spend one night there. Most of the time, you're gonna also be registering some vehicle you have with you, either your towed or maybe your motorhome. All other issues associated with South Dakota seem to be friendly. Their registration fees are reasonable. Their driver's license fees are reasonable. There's no long lines at the DMV, etc. So enough about the domicile. Um, next, I want to talk about a company called TSD Logistics. And that is TSD Logistics. That's L-O-G-I-S-T-I-C dot com. They are a fuel co-op network specializing in, I believe it started for truckers, but they work with all of the big fueling um, companies, Pilot, Flying J, etc., that you're going to encounter around the United States. And the way it works, or the gist of it is, is they buy in volume and they get a discount because of the amount of volume, the, 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 
you know, gallons of diesel fuel sold on a daily basis. Well, that volume buying, just like at Costco, they pass along some of the savings to you. From what I understand, it averages 30 to 40 cents a gallon for diesel fuel. If you're filling up a 100 gallon plus motorhome or a big F-350 or a Chevy Duramax or Dodge towing a fifth wheel, that 30, 40 cents a gallon starts to add up. If you think about it in a motorhome with a 150 gallon tank and you pump 100 gallons, that's 30 or $40 savings. This company, TSD Logistics, it's free. You apply for the card. I don't believe there's a credit check. It is linked with your checking or debit account. And you simply, once you get your card, you slide it into one of those pumps at a fuel pump uh, truck stop island. <clears throat> pump your fuel. A couple days later, that amount will be missing out of your checking or savings account, but it'll reflect the savings and they give you a, um, a printout. It's all pretty clear. I'm not going to go into a lot of details. I don't yet have my card. However, I've applied for it. It was real simple. It took about 10 minutes and they said they'd be mailing me the card within a few weeks. Um, it, again, it works for any diesel vehicle, whether it's your diesel Jeep or truck or your RV or whatever. It's a no brainer. It's a way to save quite a bit of money. You think about it over a year, 30 to $40 a tank in one of these big rigs, it's a big savings. Again, take a look at TSD Logistics. I don't have any affiliation with them or escapees. It's just from my research, I've found that these two so far um, seem to be legit. They're well-established um, and definitely worth uh, taking a look at. And the last thing I want to talk about is Good Sam. It's another RV club or organization um, in my research, looking at different ways to purchase this big uh, diesel pusher, obviously you can pay cash, you can, or you can finance it. Um, a lot of people ch are choosing to finance these big rigs. Interest rates are really low. Um, the interest rates can be, you know, depending on where you bank. I bank with the credit union. I've talked to many lenders, uh, Wells Fargo. Um, there's a couple big RV lenders in the Midwest. I can't recall their name right now, but Good Sam by far has the best rates right now. Um, today, I just looked before I decided to do this, their rates are 3.59 to 3.84. They require 20% down. You have to have, I think, a 700 credit score. They'll finance from 25,000 to a million dollars. Those interest rates that I'm quoting from their website are for full-time RVers. They do offer refinancing rates, uh, used rates, and new rates. Some of those are actually a little higher. And I, I talked to Good Sam about a year ago, and I believe the reason they said that the rates for full-timers are lower is because obviously that's somebody's home. And when things go wrong, they're gonna try to keep paying for whatever that home is, whether it's a house or an RV. And so they, they extend that, um, most likely that, that loss ratio that they may experience in the other categories, they extend that good interest rate to full timers. Um, that, that email address or that website address is www.goodsam.com, G-O-O-D-S-A-M.com. I recommend you look, they have their uh, a full graph that shows their interest rate from 48 months up to 20 years. Um, those are three things I wanted to touch on today. These videos, like I mentioned in my first video, will be slow coming. I don't have a lot of stuff to talk about other than the stuff I've learned. I'll try to keep up with this, uh, keep the videos coming. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can email me. My email is set up with uh, YouTube. I don't have a lot of banners across my little channel. I haven't even really learned how to do a lot of that. I'll be working on that. However, I don't anticipate it ever coming to a point where it looks like some kind of a commercial operation. That's not what this was set up for. I just thought I could pass along some good information I've learned to you if you're in the process of researching. Once you do this, you'll find you can spend hours and get buried in the weeds on all the little minutia about domicile and mail forwarding and um, all these different RV clubs and organizations like um, 
thousand trails. At some point I may do a little video about that. Um, there's many, many full-time RV websites that talk about a lot of these things, but I haven't really heard many of them talk specifically about establishing a domicile, um, mail forwarding, and you know anything related to financing a big RV. Anyhow, if, like I said, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, get a hold of me. And that should wrap it up for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it was somewhat helpful to you. Again, thank you and we'll talk soon.